Mark knows. What are you going to do differently on Monday morning when you get back home than you did last Monday or the Monday before? Tell me one sentence real quick. Go ahead. We're going to blast it off. Stand up and yell. I'm going to get scrum and get my leaders together and prioritize and use that methodology to execute all the things that have been languishing. And how are you going to bring your leaders around because you're coming in on re-entry with all this energy in your brain. How are you going to even get them down to the ground to show how, how, how impactful it was? What I'm going to do this year that I didn't do last year is take my, sh my slide presentation that I've been making in real time and just walk through a day at a time with them to get them re kind of brought back up to speed. But I've already got them re ordering the books and reading them. Next, somebody else. Well, I have a rolling desk that I use in the plant that I've not been using enough. So I'm going to get my butt back out there on that desk and out of my office. Good. Mark, what are you going to do differently? I'm going to go and watch. I'm going to go and watch the service team and the sales team. Nice. Sean, what are you going to do differently? I haven't figured that out yet. That's okay. Giorgio, what are you going to do? I don't know because uh, next know. Monday I will be in Tokyo. Oh, okay. <laughs> the Monday after. <laughs> so the Monday after, uh, yeah. uh, myself as a, uh, as a consultant, I try to uh, get uh, long-term uh, relationships with uh, the customers because uh, to be a real effective in a, lo a, a long time, it's not possible just uh, uh, support uh, in, uh, in, in the factors. We need a long-term perspective to, to really, to really change uh, a factor. Good. Next, Monday morning, Adam. I'm going to implement a uh, go and watch for not only myself but also all my department heads. So, sales department, customer service, production, everybody. Awesome, Ashley. What are you going to do? Sell it. <laughs> what? Sell, Sell it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I told him not to say it. Great training center. Great warm place. Probably my office. Change it to a training area. A training center. Teach and train, yeah. Nice. BJ. JB. 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 Okay, start following Harada method for my goal. Say, say one more time. I'm going to start applying Harada method. Harada method. Harada. Good. I'll directly go to Gemba. First, before going to office, first Gemba. Very good idea. Next. I'm going to start blaming process where I was not getting results. Perfect. And how are you going to declare that to your people so they understand that you've had a mindset shift? I will start questioning on the process, not questioning on why you're not done. Good. And let me give you one insight that worked with our organization. Every time you speak and address your people, tell them we are talking about process, not people. It will take you years, years of that reinforcement, and finally they will get it. And have them start reciting that as well. Thank you. Um, where are we at? Thomas. Uh, I'm going to change how I interact with a supplier that's given, that is, I'm buying a system from. So instead of blaming them, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change how I interact with them. Good. Have they been to your place? Yes. Have you been to their place? Yes. Have they had more people from their place come to your place to really intimately understand what it is your, the gap is? You guys have a gap. If that's the fact, am I correct? Yes. So you no, want to close the gap? Yes. Figure out how to close that gap and make it happen. Yes. Thank you, Thomas. Tom. Go to the shop floor, spend some time at the Gimba, go and see. Nice. Go and Chris. watch. Sorry, Chris. I'm going to formulate my plan on how to teach the people that work with me on what I've learned. I'm not, they're expecting me to come back with some crazy ideas and I'm going to surprise them and I'm not going to walk in the shop floor like I do every morning when I do go to the shop floor and just start changing and telling them to do things. I'm going to formulate my plan and then I'm going to work on how to create the learning for them on that. Awesome. What a great idea. Just calm down all the excitement yeah. and roll it out Let in a clear, down. predictable, reliable way for them. Yes. Awesome. Steven. First day I'm going to take the day off work. To give, my time, give myself time to reflect and start a book inspired by this trip and I'm also going to uh, start uh, trying this uh, double breath uh, meditation method that Norman talked about. 
Awesome. Johnny, stand up and... You know, think about it. I'm going to go and see. You know, go and watch. Listen really to John. Give him the respect we gave um, everybody else, please. And then the other one is, is sit down with the team and saying, what are the things that we can start picking off? You know, the five, your five options, five things, and just start uh, areas that we can go after. George. Okay, I'm going to take Mr. Amazawa's teachings and incorporate it into my training for uh, April 27th in Shingo in Washington. Perfect. Did you say what you're doing? Yeah, I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. I have a ton of notes, but I think the first thing I'm going to do is have a courageous conversation with every one of my employees. I have 100 people, but I want to sit down with all the employees, and it's a big job, and I'm very nervous to do it as well, is sit down and ask them what they want, personally, for their own goal, so I can get a bigger understanding of what's going on and hopefully connect that. I don't want to hear about, you know, things that they complain about, things that are outside the four walls. Inside the four walls, what's your goal? And I'm just strategically, if I start it, I have to continue it with every single person and I have to listen. That's a big deal. So I really need to do that if we're going to get to the next level, the existential level. Very similar to what you did. Yes, very similar. So he inspired me today. job easy. He, is, he inspired me today with the 6,000, 16,000 people of Toyota. He didn't talk to all of them, but he had a core group of people that would help implement. At 100, I have to implement. I have to get the feeling and change. So, thank you, guys. I was, I was very impressed with this Arizawa explanation today about HR and asking everyone to pick a goal and to self-evaluate once a year, once every six months or once a year, self-evaluate, did they attain their goal, and to sit with their supervisors, are they attaining their goal? I think that's wonderful.